I'm trying to film. Can you go somewhere else? Go lay down. I am sick right now, but it is Sunday and I don't have a video to go live on Tuesday, so I had to record despite being sick. So if I sound a little stuffy, that's why, just ignore it. Can we talk about empathy? The last couple of years have been really interesting and have taught me a lot of lessons, including deeper empathy and like just to not judge people because you don't know what they're going through because I've now been on the other side of it and been going through something and had people judge whether overtly or it just feels like they're judging and that's really not fun. I'm looking up the definitions of a difference between sympathy and empathy because I've seen a lot of conflicting things recently and now I'm not even sure which one is what I'm trying to use in this instance. Okay, so this hit on Google says, sympathy involves understanding from your own perspective. Empathy involves putting yourself in the other person's shoes and understanding why they may have these particular feelings. So yes, empathy is the word that I was wanting to use because it's, empathy can just be something that's like a trait and you don't necessarily have to have gone through it. The same experience in order to like empathize with someone who is going through it, it's more of like a feeler, intuitive personality type difference. I don't really know what I'm trying to say, but it's even stronger when you have been through the thing because then your perspective is their perspective. So you have like sympathy and empathy and you can fully put yourself in their shoes. That makes sense. If you follow me on Instagram or have watched a decent amount of my videos on here and on my old channel, you probably have a decent idea of like what I've struggled with. But honestly, it was just like so many things that just added up to be like, <laughs> I cannot deal with this. <laughs> the point I specifically want to touch on in this video is that if you had told me five years ago or even like 2018, 2019, where I would be today and specifically like last fall, I probably would have been shocked because growing up, I was bundle of energy. Everybody would compliment me about my smile. People loved being around me. And <laughs> my favorite pajamas said Little Miss Sunshine. And that was just, that was just my persona. I was goofy and fun and, what's the word? <laughs> effervescent. My sister even used the word once that I was effervescent. And so it was really hard for me when I woke up one day and was like, where have I gotten to? Where did that girl go? And how do I bring her back? Because I do not like where I'm at right now. And it took me getting to that really low spot to be able to fully relate with, understand, reach out to some of my friends who have dealt with crazy stuff. And you know, everyone else is like, oh, well, why are you, why are you making these choices? Why are you doing this or not doing this? You know just make better choices or just think better thoughts or whatever and i'm just like i get it now a lot of these people are genuinely struggling with chemical imbalances in their brain that have been trained over years and with trauma and unhealthy coping mechanisms like <clears throat> they literally cannot just think better thoughts like i get it now there's still sometimes days where i'm just like i do not even care not even capable of caring like you kind of just go numb and it doesn't matter if you spend the whole day on your phone or you don't drink water or you know just like don't take care of yourself because you're literally not even thinking about that you're just like totally dead and i really started to realize it when some of my friends were like 
you know, I'm putting so much effort into trying to be as much of a functioning member of society as I can. And then somebody goes and says, why aren't you doing this? And I'm just like, can you see everything else that I'm doing? Do you not know that I'm like on the edge of a breakdown? And when they told me these things, I'm like, yes, <laughs> I relate. And I am so sorry that people are just treating you that way and not like taking a second to think about everything that's happened in your life, where you are, how it probably feels to be you in this moment and how that affects your ability to even function on a day-to-day -day basis. As much as I wish that I could change certain parts of my story, I am seeing more and more every day how God is kind of calling me to this mission of reaching out to these broken people, broken girls that just don't even care about themselves anymore, that feel like they have no worth, that are stuck in these unhealthy patterns. I'm just like, girl, I got you. Like, I'm here for you. I understand. I've been there. I will just state for the record, I never struggled with like self-worth or image issues, but I definitely got to the point where it was like, I didn't really want to live, but I didn't really want to die either. It was just kind of like, what's the point? So I can understand in a way what they're going through, how they feel, and empathize with them. <laughs> and I've really been just like thinking about and realizing maybe that's where God wants me to serve is to these broken women and like maybe I need to go reach out to the women's shelter in the town near me and like start just helping and getting in that space and exercising my empathy. <laughs> and I guess I just want to say to all of you, if you come across someone in your life that is struggling, that is going through things, that is having a hard time even just getting out of bed in the morning, do not push them. It's a process. Just be there for them. Encourage them. Lead by example. And just let them experience the whole process of the journey of healing. And yeah, just don't, don't push them. Don't criticize them for things that they aren't able to do. Because you never know the reason. For example, <laughs> People might look at my life and be like, she only works one day a week, like what a loser. She's not contributing to society. Here's a classic example of why I'm only working one day a week. I felt like I've been fighting a cold for like two weeks, <clears throat> but I was able to keep it at bay until I went to work on Monday and it wiped me out because I have very little stamina these days. And Tuesday morning, I woke up sick, and I've been sick ever since. Thankfully, not that bad, and I haven't spiked a fever, but it's like, I my body's not strong enough to take the stress, physical and mental stress of working. And maybe that's just how it has to be. But it's really hard for me not to be like, oh, well, people are going to look at that and be like, oh, she's just lazy. She just doesn't want to do the hard work. I'm like... You have no idea what I'm going through. You have no idea people's stories. So just don't judge, be kind. Take a second to actually like sit with people and listen to their stories and step into their shoes and just be a sensitive, caring human being. Cause you never know.